In this video, we'll talk about general solutions and initial value problems with respect to differential equations. So suppose you were given the differential equation dy dt equals 2t. We're trying to figure out what the solution is to this problem. Well, this question is basically asking, what is the function y of t whose derivative is 2t? Thinking back to our Calc 1 knowledge from before, we know that y of t is t squared is a solution. If I differentiate t squared, I get 2t back, and that solves my differential equation. However, so is something like y of t is t squared plus 1. And if you think back to how we did things in Calc 1 and integrals in general, we know that something like y of t is t squared plus c will be a solution for any constant c. The constant will just go away and take the derivative, so it's not going to affect my final answer. So a solution of this form with an unknown constant c in it is what's called a general solution to a differential equation. It is basically like this t squared plus c thing where I have this extra c that I could then pick if I want to, but any constant c will solve the problem. Now what about determining this c? Well, if I want to tell you what this c has to be, there has to be more information. And that information will generally be given in the form of the function value at a point. In this case, this could be something like you're told that dy dt is 2t and the value of y at t equals 1 is 2. This part here is what's called an initial condition for the problem. And combining that with the differential equation that we had before gives what's called an initial value problem. And this will be one of our main objects of study as we go through this course. So as an example, we've got this differential equation here. dy dt is 2y, not 2t, but 2y this time. And I want to verify that d of t is e to the 2t plus c is not the general solution, but c times e to the 2t does work. We do that just by taking the derivative. So if I take the derivative of phi of t, so phi of t is e to the 2t plus c, phi prime is 2e to the 2t, but this is not equal to 2 phi because of that plus c that's there in the phi term that doesn't show up in this part. However, if I look at y, my y function is c e to the 2t, and y prime here will be 2c e to the 2t, which is in fact 2y. So this one does not solve the problem, but this one does. And the key point here, the description is the fact that it's not always gonna be in the form of a plus c, it might be multiplied by something else. And that's what you're gonna see as we go forward through this course. A lot of times the c's gonna be multiplied by other functions, and that's fine. They still solve this role of an arbitrary constant that can be determined later. So now if I want to solve y of zero equaling four, all I will do is then plug in zero and see what that gets me. So y of 0 is going to be c times e to the 2 times 0. Well, that's e to the 0. That's 1. This is the value of c. I want this to be 4. This is to pick my constant c to be 4. Thus, the solution here is going to be y of t is 4 e to the 2t, which will solve the differential equation and the right initial condition to solve the initial value problem. So that's the idea of a general solution of an IVP and how you would go about verifying and picking C to meet the right initial condition that you have for your given problem.